lesson 22 on power pages. In our last lesson, we were able to uh, uh, interact with a list and view the details of the job postings uh, in our list. In this next lesson, what I'd like to do is be able to create an application against that job. We didn't have access before, so let's go ahead and test this out by creating a permission. So what we'll do here is we'll click on our list. And if we move over here, it'll be a little bit easier to see. So we look at our list and there's different permissions that we can govern around that list. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new table permission. And this is going to be a um, basic table permission. And it's gonna be for the application. Now, after we have all our functionality working for the candidates to be able to apply, um, we're gonna lock everything down which means we're gonna have people log in and uh, they're gonna create contacts when they log in and they're gonna have access to only what they need to have access to see, to update and to create. Uh, there will be no deletion whatsoever. Uh, so this application permission um, is what we're gonna do here is add a application permission. And what we're gonna say here is we're gonna say Okay, they're, they're able to read it, they're re able to update it, they're able to create it, they can append it, append to, but they can't delete it. Um, and so I'm gonna add the roles here. We're gonna currently let anonymous users do this, but we're actually not going to for very long. The purposes here is for us to be able to put all these pieces together first before we actually lock down all the security of this of this uh, power page portal. So I've got that in place. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to test out and see if in fact that permission that I've gone ahead and created is in the list. And I think it is, it's just not showing at all. Manage all table permissions, yep. So we have it in here. Okay, so let's go back to our pages and then let's synchronize this with the DB. And if you recall, there was that option to create a related record on that one form. Let's try and see if we can get that to work. So we're gonna click on preview, click on desktop. And we're gonna go and go back to this job that we're looking at here, activation, activation supervisor at Activision. And then we can see we no longer have an error message here for applications that we don't have permissions. There's just no records to display. That kind of makes sense. But the create related record is what we did when we embedded that form within a form, right? which was the application form. So let's go ahead and try to create a related record and see if the system lets us. So let's give it a shot. Uh, application name, test application. And then the job that I'm interested in is activation supervisor. We're gonna make this way smoother, by the way. And the candidate right now, we don't have access to create a candidate or put a candidate here, but it's not required. We also don't have to add a resume right now. Let's just put in a note here, test application submission. We just wanna make sure, can we get this done? Can we get a uh, candidate to view a job and produce an application record? Once we have this uh, hurdle of, you know, the job being mapped automatically, the candidate being mapped automatically, the resume being up, able to be uploaded, right? Well, then we should be in good shape. Let's try to submit this. So I've submitted this. And there's actually a test application here that's now against this record. So I'm really curious now if I go to the job. Um, let's take a look at the activation uh, activation person. This particular job, did we get an application? We did get a test application just a moment ago. I mean, we've got it end-to-end -end basically working at a very high level. 
right? Because the candidate doesn't have the ability to upload their resume until the record exists. And also we need to bridge the gap between the candidate and what the contact is and means to Power Apps portals. So we now have a way for the candidate to apply for a job. We just need to tailor this experience a little bit more. So um, what we're going to do next is we're going to start working with the registration process of logging into the website, working with web roles, and then um, making sure that we lock things down to the point where uh, candidates can only see um, the jobs that are open. Uh, they have a list of jobs that uh, they've applied for. And also um, they are able to um, make sure that we can they can apply for jobs as well and that's pretty much the basic functionality we want to give these users and um, and then that allows us to then create automation uh here on the back end to process other things like um, calculate uh, values or whatever we need to do but we now have uh, an integration between our our power apps portal and our uh, power apps environment so um, I think we're in a good place. Thank you so much.